All right, guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you easy step by step how to add blog growth to your website so that Google and the rest search engine will crawl your website every day that they come to your website. It's very easy for them to, to crawl. So I'm going to show you in this video here how to do that on your website. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's make this website here a blog growth. So this is one of my website. The website is static page. So I want to change it to blog row so that Google and the rest search engine will easily crawl my website. So if I click on the home page right now, it's just going to show up as home. So I want it to show up as my blog row. So as you can see right here, there's nothing on the home page. So I want it to be, I want to make this website to be blog row, the, the home page to be blog row so that it's really easy for bots to crawl. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So let's go to, there are two ways to do this. The first is to go to the menu screen and set up your menus. Let's so you want to create new menu, you want to create menu, go create new menu. So you want to name your menu. Name menu. You can name it any name you like. Then when you finish, you create menu. Hit create menu here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add your pages to the menu. And go from there. So let's add. Let's select all pages here. Yeah? And add it to the menu. So let's say I want this to be at the top. You can just drag and drop. Drag and drop. And that is it. So now let's save menu. I'll make this I'll make this menu our primary menu. Now that's now that we've created our we've created our menu, let's go ahead and see how it looks like. So as you can see the, the website is still showing the home page. So you want to to make it blog row, you want to go to settings area. So let's go to dashboard again and change it from the settings reading area. There are the settings area. Like that and you go to reading. So as you can see here, the home page is on this is a static page. So let's change it to the as our latest post. Let's use our latest post as status as the home page. Now it has been changed. Let's scroll down and click save change. Yes. You can you can also tweak a little bit here. Yeah. If you want more more posts at the at the home page, you can add more. Let's say twenty twenty. It changes to fifteen to twenty also, and save. Now let's see our website and see how it looks like. So the website is not showing up. Sorry, the home page is not showing up as our as the blog row. So it's not showing up 20, 20 posts per page. So if you scroll down now, so there's 20, 20 posts here per, per page. So that's how you do it. Let me sh quickly show you another another method to do that. So you can do it. You can do it right from your your theme. So to do it from your theme, you want to go to customize, or you go to 
dashboard right here then you go to appearance and go to customize from your dashboard appearance and customize so you want to do it right from our team i'm using the general press team so you're all my different format General press team eh? Let's go to customize. Yeah, as the customize area, you can change the site your site identity here. Yeah? Like site title, you can add tagline to your website from here. You can also add your logo, your site icon, your and so on and so forth. You can also change the layout of your website. Here you can change the colors, the typography here, yeah? the general setting here. Yeah? You can change it. you can also adjust the menu right from the earth your team here eh? you can adjust the widget here eh? so here is where we're gonna we're gonna adjust the home setting so let's go to home home page setting so from here you can change it to static you can change it here eh? then I'll choose the the post and pages that you want but I want to be blogger so let's publish I want the home page of the program. So that's uh, what I want. Now let's check out our website. Let's see how it looks like. So our home page is now our blog row. It's a blog row. So it will be very easy for Googlebot and the race search engines to, to crawl the website right now. So it will be very easy for them. So that's how you change your website. You add blog row to your website. If you have any question or you have anything to say about this this video right here, let me know down below. Drop your comment down below. Subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.